So my name is Peggy Rezis and I am a software engineer at Major League Soccer um, where I really work on UI engineering. So it could be our real-time web app to our Amazon Fire TV app to our React Native app. Um, I'm always working on a variety of projects every day. Um, I also work on Interact, which is a um, open source electron application that allows you to um, create code cells or markdown cells and run them in line, um, very similar to the Jupyter Notebook, but um, a much better user experience. Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so you've only been coding for a pretty short amount of time. What has React and the community been like for you? Yes, yeah, so I've been coding um, for about a year now, but um, I've been at Major League Soccer for the past six months. Okay, very cool. Have you been exposed to other communities, or has it really just been React? Um, so mostly just the React community. I kind of, once I started learning React, I really fell in love with it. Um, and the community is so great. You know, there's just so many people. Everyone's so friendly. Um, mm -hmm. So really just trying to get involved as much as I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear you're doing exciting things with data visualization, so tell us a little bit more about that. We're obviously really focused on stats visualization because we you know, have tons of data about the players and about the game, and um, you know, we're constantly trying to figure out new ways to display the information to our fans. Um, so I'm working a lot with Victory by Formidable Labs, which is a really great library. It's built on top of um, D3, but creates enough of an abstraction so um, you can really make it your own. Um, it's a library of reusable, very modular and composable React components. Um, but what's really cool is that it's almost completely cross-platform, so you have up to 95% code reuse between React and React Native. Oh, interesting. Did Ken Wheeler write that? Yeah, well, I don't think Ken actually wrote it. Um, Lauren Eastridge wrote it, but I think he probably had some hand in it. Yeah. But he yeah. takes credit, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I hear you're working on a new project you're about to open source, so tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so it's something that actually um, really started at MLS. Um, so we're a really small team, and we don't have any um, you know, specific iOS or Android experience. We're really coming from a JavaScript back background. So it's called React Native Create Bridge, and it's a CLI tool that automatically generates bridge modules for you. So even if you don't have you know, a Swift or a Java background, it makes it really easy to get started. Um, it has links to the docs, and it really kind of shows you um, where to put the moving parts so you can successfully create a React Native bridge module. Oh, that is really exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, I'm going to probably be releasing it soon after uh, React Conf, maybe in the next couple of months. Oh, very yeah. awesome. What do you like about React? I love just the reuse across platforms. So um, there's tools like React Native Web that are even coming out that just make it really easy to share code, whether you're writing for the browser or you're writing for iOS or Android, and now even VR. There's just so many exciting things happening in the space, um, and it's constantly changing. That's another thing that I like, too. It's just always um, very fast-paced and, um, you know, always things going on. Have you experienced any JavaScript fatigue yet? Yet for me, but maybe it's because I've only been programming for a year, so yeah. in a couple of years you could ask me the same question and I'll be able to give you an answer. So out of all the frameworks, how did you actually specifically get into React? So I actually did a coding boot camp called Grace Hopper Academy where they taught us Angular. Mm -hmm. um, but i just been hearing about React. I really wanted to learn it. So I taught myself React while I was at the boot camp. And for our final project, we did um, a, uh, a web app that uses React in D3. So that also kind of sparked a little bit more of my work on data visualization and saying, you know, how can we make this easier? And that's really when I stumbled across upon Victory um, and saw that as a really great solution. I really love all this stuff happening yes, in the D3 world. Have you heard of a project called Data Sketches? No, I haven't. Oh, you should check that out. Yeah, yeah, definitely give me their Twitter handles. I'd love to see Yeah, that. Data Sketches is a monthly project mm -hmm. where I think it's Shirley Wu and Visual Cinnamon, uh, not Nadia. I, I think I've seen is. her work before, yeah. Yeah, so she does a lot of really cool stuff, but they do a monthly collaborative project together Okay. in which they just take really cool things to visualize with D3. So it's, it's a very, very interesting project. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you know if they use React at all? <sighs> yes. I think Shirley does, uses mainly React, but I'm not quite sure for data sketches what they do. I think it's just mainly all D3. I'm, I have no idea. Okay, cool. Um, what are, the, what are some of the exciting projects that you've seen lately in the React community that you're excited to test out? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, so React Navigation is really awesome. Obviously, um, you know, in the React Native community, there was a lot of kind of indecision on what's the best way um, to use navigation. So I've been wanting to try that out. Um, also, I'm really excited about React Native Web. Um, we're starting to use it at Major League Soccer, and it's just really easy to create custom um, cross-platform components that you can use between platforms, so it's really great. Ooh, that's yeah. exciting. So definitely a lot of cross-platform stuff. And did you, you said you worked on some other cross-platform related projects, right? Or were you saying, I don't remember if you said anything about Cordova, or maybe that was somebody else. No, no, no. I, haven't, I haven't used Cordova, but, okay, um, okay. but I know... Um, Exponent's another really exciting um, technology that's happening in the React Native space mm -hmm. that probably, because um, it's not relying on native code, so it mm -hmm. allows you to um, mm. use just plain JavaScript. Have you used React Router before at all? Oh yeah, React Router v4. Yeah, we've been using that at Major League Soccer. Um, it's really great so far. I love how um, declarative it is, and it's just really easy to get going. And I've heard that works with React Native as well, so that would be interesting to try to, um, you know, make that cross-platform as well. Yeah, I haven't messed around with it yet, but I'm really excited and looking forward to doing that. Yeah, it's cool. a great library. So, where can we find you on the internet? Um, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at Peggy Razis. You can also find me on GitHub. Same handle, pretty consistent across all the major social media sites. Cool, awesome, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much, it was great meeting you. Hey there, are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? And join this dot instructor Ben Lesh to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.